All right, folks, welcome back to the show. You are watching HMW Sports Talk Live. I'm Craig Shelton from HoustonMediaWatch.com. Go check out the blog at HoustonMediaWatch.com. We are Houston's media watchdogs. Angelo Lawford from HMW is in studio, uh, and he's a regular contributor uh, to the blog and right here on this show. Uh, before we move on, uh, we got a little conversation coming up about Zach Mettenberger, and uh, we also put out a, a uh, question in regard to the Texans and the upcoming draft on Facebook. We got some Facebook responses that we're going to discuss right here on the show. Read some of those sponsors, responses uh, from some of the great folks that uh, contribute uh, in some of the group pages, the sports group pages on Facebook. Now, I said some of the great folks, which means obviously I'm not talking about Michael O. Smith and his dumb ass. I don't like you, Michael O. Smith. You're not a smart human being. I'm not even sure you're from Earth, Michael O. Smith. Michael O. Smith is the O in Michael O. Smith for zero brain power? Michael O. Smith, you're not a smart person. If you were black, I'd trade you to the white people for anybody. I'd trade you for Marky Mark. I'd, I'd trade you for, for rapper Marky Mark, that, that old Mark, that guy. Not actor Marky Mark. Michael O. Smith, I would trade you to white people for Marky Mark. I'd trade you for Vanilla Ice, Mark, uh, Michael O. Smith. I, Michael O. Smith. I would trade you for Rosie. Michael O. Smith, I would trade you for Rosie O'Donnell. I'm, I'm real talk, Michael O. Smith. Michael O. Smith, here, here it comes. Here's the drop the mic, walk off the stage moment. Michael O. Smith, I trade you for Matt Shaw. <laughs> Michael O. Smith, Michael O. Smith, if you would just leave the planet Earth, Michael O. Smith, I would literally take a gun hijack Bill O'Brien and force him to draft Man Johnny Manziel just to make you happy. If you would just leave the planet Earth, Michael O. Smith, and never come back, Michael O. Smith. Michael O. Smith, you so dumb, Adrian Tubbs' mama made you get out the house. <laughs> Folks, Michael O. Smith might be the biggest idiot I've ever seen on Facebook in my life. This man puts the M in Manzelic. He's ridiculous. It's okay to be a, a off the wall fanatical fan, but Michael o. Smith, you, 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 my, Michael o. Smith, you, your Benzelic fandom, it really has no definition, no, no defining. It is infinitely weird. It ha it doesn't stop. Michael o. Smith, you are so dumb. It can only be equated to. The darkness, if we were trying to measure dark, how dark is dark up against how dumb is dumb, we would say Flavor Flav, Michael O. Smith. I'm done with you, Michael O. Smith. I'm starting to feel dumb for talking about Michael O. Smith. Dumbest cat ever on Facebook. Folks, my name is Craig Shelton. Friend me on Facebook and send me a message saying, Craig, I want to get to know Michael O. Smith. And I'll tell you, how to have some fun reading the Facebook post of the great, the infamous man himself, Michael O. Smith. Angelo, how about it, man? What you think? Yeah. <laughs> Michael O. Smith is a clown, man. My God. Just, just, just make one post that matters in life. Just post anything that matters. Just, I'll read it on the show. If you post something intelligent, Michael O. Smith, even if I disagree with it, I will read it on this show. And matter of fact, you got my word. I'll make sure that Richard Walker just has it scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Secret the entire team. show, <laughs> Michael O. Smith says, intelligent Facebook post by Michael O. Smith. And the O is not for zero. Man, Michael O. Smith. All right, man. Well, give me a Michael O. Smith T-shirt. Michael O. Smith, if you, if you make an intelligent post on Facebook, not only will we have it scrolling the entire show, I will get a vote for Michael O. Smith T-shirt made by my boy Tony Mix, and I'll wear it on this show. All right? I'll change my profile picture to Michael O. Smith on Facebook. I'll change my Twitter handle for a week to Michael O. Smith Creek. How about that, all right? And y'all know how partial I am 
about my tour to creep. All right, man, so let's keep it real. Zach Menberger, um, 13 weeks after the ACL injury, had his pro day this past week at LSU. We spent a lot of time talking about Johnny Manziel, Blake Bortles, and Teddy Bridgewater, and we should. Those are the guys. Uh, at, well, speculatively, at least the way we believe it to be. Listen, we hear uh, some people I respect, Lance Zerline, his, says his, some of his sources are telling him that Bill O'Brien is really high on the Savage Kid from Pittsburgh. Uh, why wouldn't he have some level of interest in uh, Mittenberger with, with his arm? You have to give David Carr, I mean, Derek Carr, a look. Right. Um, Garoppolo, you have to. All of, I'm sure the, tell, the Texans are doing their due diligence right. on this. You know, I'm sure they've consulted with Michael O. Smith. Um, but Zach Mittenberger. Uh, you know, I think it's time to start looking at the what ifs with the Texans, and we haven't done a whole lot of that on this show. Uh, but, you know, Jadavion Clowney, very well, in my opinion, probably <clears throat> should be the guy that the Texans draft. And uh, if the if the if the running if the running line all alone has been deep, deep draft for quarterbacks, as deep as we've ever seen it. Uh, even though it may not be um, no-brainer elite at the top, because uh, Manziel could be an elite guy, Bridgewater may turn out to be an elite guy, maybe Bortles too, but not not that clear-cut Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, you know, right. uh, that type of guy at the top. But so with a freak like Clowney, you know. For me, with my GM hat on, is is Jadavian Clowney. And then I go for one of these other quarterbacks. I'm all for the Texans taking two. If you take Clowney first, and you take the best guy that fits your system, graded on your board with that first pick in the second round, which if this draft is what we think it is, that that's that's a, basically a first round pick that you don't have to pay first round money. And let's just say that you know with with with. If we believe what we hear in the media, which I'm not saying we should, I would never say that, but if we believe um, that some of the uh, shine is off of Teddy Bridgewater, if he makes it past eight and you start looking at things, this guy, you know, you can turn around, he might be there sitting at the top of the second round because you got that number one pick in the second round. You grab Bortles or Blake uh, or Bridgewater. I, at this point, if the Texans took Manziel, if, if he feels some kind of way, I'm not, I wouldn't be killing them for taking, even though I put a third-round grade on them, I wouldn't be killing them for taking who, whoever the top guy is in their view at the first pick in the second round. But when you get to the third round, you get to the fourth round, if Logan Thomas is there, if, if, if Aaron Murray is around, right. if one of these other kids, you know, uh, at what point do, you, do we reconsider Taj Boyd? You know what I mean? Right. Uh, hey, take two, Texans. Take two. Your thoughts, Angelo? No, I I agree with that. It's it's kind of interesting though. Uh, the 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 only kind of uh, reservation that I have in taking a clowny or or anybody from the Texans' point of view, and and therefore getting a a, a quarterback in one of the latter rounds, mm -hmm. is simply this: uh, basically between Manziel, Bortles, Bridgewater, I would think if you take anybody that's not them, you need them all to fail, regardless of whatever quarterback you get down the road. Because if you take a Clowney first, and then a Bridgewater, uh, a Manziel, mm. a Bortles actually excels, then in my in, in my opinion, you might have made the wrong pick. And I see it completely in reverse. I, I I believe, I believe if you're a general manager, you're less likely. If 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 I'm if I'm if I'm team president, or the owner of the team, and you're my GM, and what do you want to face me, at the end of the season? Uh, or two years later, when I'm evaluating you, do you want to face me saying, I skipped over the JV and Clowney, and he turned out to be great, and the quarterback I took turned out to be bad when it was some a lot of question about th that level of a guy in the first place? Or do you want to face me saying, I took Clowney, which most consider kind of a no-brainer pick, and, mm, yeah, okay, Manziel turned out to be great, but with all of the other things about him, the concerns only, and I'm only talking football concerns. Right. Uh, I, I I think I'm more comfortable sitting down in front of my owner saying, "Hey, we knew it was a possibility, but which guy was a less gamble?" Right. <clears throat> and well, which is the less gamble? Six six, 
250 whatever freakish athlete with, with four six speed or Johnny Manziel or Teddy Bridgewater or Blake Bortles. I think Les Gamble is with the guy that 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 has the potential of a Teddy Bridgewater. We got about about one minute. Well well Clowney isn't exactly without issue. No, he's not. We're so, saying which one is less of a gamble. Well, yeah, I I, I agree with Because I agree with your point. I'm not I, I agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying at some point, being that it's not a perfect science, right? which one is less of the gamble? Which one are you willing to gamble your job on? Right. And so I understand uh, what you say, you know, what you say, Clowney, in that regard. Yeah. Because consensus, he is the best talent. Uh, I think I think the consensus is, is likely, and, and it hasn't been polled. We don't have a, a scientific poll to know that that's really what everybody thinks. And who's everybody? Who would everybody include? Scouts, true, coaches, media. Because that's as soon as you start including from. media in it, that's like having fan voting in All Star games. Right. You know, idiot, the idiot vote factor. Yes, the media being involved would be idiot vote factor. We'll be right back after this H M W Sports Talk Live.